bit on YouTube back again. Um, done some more pickups. Um, I should do more listings. <laughs> I'm being a hoarder at the moment. Um, yeah, had a good time at the Gold Coast at the Q1. Uh, yeah, beautiful room. We're on the 37th floor. So we went up to the Sky Tower and had breakfast. And yeah, no, it was a good time. But anyway, um, yeah, so it's about, I don't know, it's been two weeks or three weeks. So for the pickups. Um, I mean, I'm out. Well, let's get into it. Um, here, uh, cash converters, uh, Wii Sports, um, this is 50 cents. Uh, some Xbox games, these are all the buck, Mario wins. And so on, uh, Halo 2. Uh, Halo 2 multiplayer map pack. And uh, Doom. And the original Halo. So that's like the, the hat trigger Halos for three bucks. It's not too bad. Um, for this, this is the 12th Man box set. You can see it's a buck. So four CDs. Um, I'll probably end up listening to them first and then get rid of them. So it's a cashy pick up. Uh, and the next one. Some clothing. I don't even know what this is. Here we go. So it's a um, rugby 2011 uh, Canterbury clothing. Uh, the thing's almost like brand new. Um, so yeah, XL too, good size. And, uh, stripey. So yeah, well, that was a good deal. Uh, not not that um, <laughs> the Wallabies will be wanting it, but yeah. God, they're terrible at the moment. Well, not terrible, but New Zealand's so good, I guess it's a bit ISO in it. So. Anyway, um, bought this too. Um, it's Irwin Car Racing Ford. Um, let see what on the back. Um, stuff on the sleeves as well. Um, the, the quality of this, yeah. It's a 2XL, so it's the Stone Brothers Racing. There, um, it's got a, it's got a couple of pulls in the front of it and stuff, but I think I only paid five bucks for it. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure of the sponsors how old it is or not, but yeah, uh, sure someone would like that. Way down the pub or something. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, went to the one of my. I go to this op shop and it has hardly anything, but uh, this one's Iron Man, it's sealed. Uh, there's a few bucks in there, I paid a dollar for it. Um, just empty video cases, these were 50 cents, but a couple of weed cases in there. So, you know what I do is I put the any single list stuff I have, I put in, put in the hard covers, um, basically. Checks it in free. All right. Next thing is, um, I just saw these and I thought they looked really cool. I mean, not my style personally, but, um, uh, the Lab of Denim USA, um, all seem to be original. I think I paid seven bucks for them, so, but yeah, fairly unique. I've, I've seen a fair few pairs, I kind of clicked off online, I think 40 bucks plus you get for them, so. Seven bucks, I think, a good investment. I'm going to get 35 plus freight. I'm all good with that. So, but once again, clothing's not my fault. All right, um, went into oh, one of the other op shops. These are all two bucks. So, we sports, we sports, fit plus, we fit, we sports, we sports. So, yeah. Um, once again, it's kind of just one listing. Um, yeah, we fit. Just shove them all in. We sports. We sports. We sports resort. That's like sixteen, seventy dollar game. Two bucks. Um, we sports resort and we resort for two bucks. It's like a twenty five dollar game. Um, we sports. I normally. I normally list these for 12 bucks. Um, a lot of people go 7, 8, 9, 10, but yeah. Oh, I had mine sitting there 
ages. I had about six listed. And then another refit class. Another refit. Then pick that up by accident. <laughs> Replay. So, yeah, anyway. What do you do? Um, yeah, so yeah, I had them listed for a while and they, um, they um, didn't sell for like three months and then bang, 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 bang. They all went out the door for 12 bucks. So, pretty happy with that. Yeah, Spider Man. Um, I think it was five bucks. I just bought it to a little Spider Man. I don't know it's name and look it up. Yeah. Um, I started my game. Yay. Uh, yeah, to my collection. Uh, Odds World. Um, I don't know if it's complete or not. I think it is. It <laughs> insists me. Yep. So, yeah. Disc manual. So, yep. And the case is not cracked, which is a bloody miracle. Anyway, so that's all that. So that was a, a good pickup, I thought. Anyway, just easy to list. <laughs> but um, as I said the other day, I've got a heap of Wii Fit boards, so I can just bundle Wii Fit, Wii Fit Plus together. Um, put them in a BX4 box through eBay. I think it's like $16 freight. So the box costs you like $2. And I think you got to use... Um, you got to use... Uh, when I grabbed something yesterday... Um, Went to this house and they uh, uh, moving back to New Zealand. A couple of like team boys or whatever, so they had a heap of stuff there. So I got a, a PS2 Lite, a PS Vita, and some Xbox 360 games. So anyway, so so off. Um, so I got this one. Got a game. Uh, got a game. And Two, so yeah, all Lego. Plus, there's another. You know, this is the, the bag it came in. So it's a PS Vita cover. And um, let's get this one out of the way. So can I, I need to see that. Focus. Focus. So Lego Marvel, you know, that, that was part, they had no case though. Um, so I got the charger, and this thing is minty mint. This thing is uh, very good condition, so. Let me, um, power that on. Yeah, it's there. That power's on. Yeah. Yeah, very, very good condition, very happy with it. Um, so yeah, if, just for the Vita and the four games, I paid 100 bucks, so it's not bad. I've seen lots. Sell upwards of three hundred. Um, so yeah, I might ask two fifty. I say I might even keep a Vita because I don't have one. I need to get games and stuff, but I mean, I don't think they made that many games for me. So, but let's move along. Um, bought this. This is a, a Disney. Um, it's like a book, Treasure Island plus the old vinyl. Um, paid three bucks for it. I, I had a look online, but I couldn't really find anything. But I was looking up on my phone, and it's just crap. So, eBay app and whatnot. Um, into military stuff. So, found this. This is um, Australian Army. Uh, was it Slade? I think the representative of the armed forces was. And uh, it's got the camouflage rising sun there. Australian Army. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I do a lot of, I collect a lot of money stuff too, and I find it, so. Well, I keep them on them, and not to work anything on them. That's pretty good thing. They're good for, say, skirmish or stuff like that. Back in my younger day, um, bought a pair of goggles. Um, I, I do a fair bit of metal detecting, so I um, got about four or five different metal detectors. So I'm going to take them, um, go down the creeks and stuff, and, uh, Go diving with my uh, what was it? AT Pro. Oh, there's another Ben Sherman. I think this is a, like a Meyer brand or something. Um, once again, Vinny's it's three bucks, but um, it's got the the pearl snap buttons on it. So yeah, it's kind of cool. It's got country look. So. Uh, uh, let's see. And, uh, Here's another like pearl snap. This one here is a uh, oh, sorry, it's 
XYZ. There we go, like tag. I'm gonna pay four bucks for this one too. You can see that. This is a, a YD shirt. Um, when I was at the Gold Coast, I saw a YD short, uh, shop and something like this. They want eighty nine dollars for so. But once again, I'm not sure of their resale value, if any. So this is um, this is one. Leeton Orient bloody soccer. Once again, I know nothing about soccer. So, I don't know. It's in, it's in really good nick. Um, you know, it's a it's a Nike dry fit, so it's five bucks. Um, really good condition too. So once again, you know, it's, it's Nike. So yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, that's all that stuff. Okay. And some more. To garage sale, uh, I bought a whole Wii. So I got a Wii system, fit board, weights, uh, one controller, about nine games, uh, and it was forty bucks. So uh, plus I bought some Xbox games too. So yeah, Wii Fit Plus. Uh, I didn't even know they made this. Um, Big Beat Sports Two. So uh, first time I've seen one of them for the number two. Um, Xbox Madagascar, Mortal Kombat, Xbox Original, Xbox Herbs, uh, busting out Xbox, Shrek 2, uh, Kung Fu Chaos, um, Spyro, and um, there you go, these are all the exercise stuff, um, Deep Pack, Chiropractor Leela, I don't know what the hell I know. Um, biggest loser. Um, your shape. Maybe I should start doing these. <laughs> um, just dance. Um, little sports party. Um, your sports resort again. Um, party games and three sports. And all the manuals for the Wii. Uh, where's the, that's the fit board. I didn't check the batteries, unfortunately. So, yep, they're in there. And uh, no green stuff. That's all good. But yeah, that's it there. But, yeah, anyway. Fit board. Yeah, there's all a bunch of cables and stuff like that. Anyway, that's all the cables and crap. There's the remote. Um, it's just a standard one. So. Alright, um, bought some. Um, went to. Went to the oh, Another op shop. I haven't been to in ages, so I thought uh, I'd go have a look and stuff. They had like this um, pigeon hole. Sorry, there's a noise. Um, they gave me a paper bag. Um, they gave me a they had all these pigeon holes with uh, remotes for like TVs and stereos and stuff like that, so I thought I'd look that home. Um, making some room here. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, there's a Sony uh, video DVD combo. So uh, I know the last VCR machine just rolled off the production facility or something, so not making them anymore. So maybe uh, VCR remote control for NLG. Um, let's see, who knows? Um, Sony one. I think it's the same as the other one, I've got the three of the same. Another LG one. Uh, another LG one. One thing I gotta test all these two. I, I know I know what it's like when your remote screws up. It's a real pain in the ass and you manually do everything. So as soon as you do, you just go straight on eBay. Um, that's a uh, Onkyo. I think Onkyo stuff quite expensive. But depends where it is, I guess. Um, 
put a strong. I don't know if this is for a um, just a top set box or actual satellite receiver. I've got this old school one. There's an old Morant one. Um, I don't know if it's worth any money, but I know old Morant stuff's worth some coin. So um, I'm guessing the, ro the remote battery compartment's pretty good. Um, I'm not sure. But on my guess, um, if it's for a good system in Marantz, um, people will want that big time. So, uh, the Sony, another Sony, yep. and price, price, and another one. So, it's three of the same. So, they're for uh, system audio. So, now, and then we have this little thing, Piney. I think this will be for a car system, car stereo, but they get outdated real quick, you know, from USB to. Or whatever, you know, and pigs plays DVDs and sat nav and all that crap. I saw these shoes, um, O'Neill, um. I thought it might be Shaquille O'Neal, but then it's not. It's a basketball. I paid twelve bucks fifty, but these things are minty mint. That's the bottom of the shoe. So yeah, I don't think they've ever been worn. Um. So yeah, but I found out it's O'Neal surfing, which is quite a high dollar item. I think it's it's bigger in the states than it's here. I, mean, I looked on completed for eBay, but I can't find any um. Completed stuff. Okay, so this is the this is my thirty dollar PS two lot. Um, bit of a mixed bag. <laughs> uh, I think this is a FIFA game. Is it? Yeah, that's FIFA seven. Yeah, Transformers. I think that's what six dollar game. So what I do is get all crappy games, bundle them with the system, and. and the Ratatouille, uh, another Kung Fu Chaos. I, I don't know what it's doing the PS2 system, but yeah, I'll take it. And uh, Pro Street Carbon. Sorry, she has with his camera. <laughs> and the next one is um, Hot Wheels. So no manual on that one. Feels a bit light. Same with this one, Ben 10. Yeah, Harry Potter. Good one, hit and run, flip coin that one. Um, yeah, Sky Surfer. Oh, I've never seen that one. Doesn't mean much. I never saw the Dragon Swords one. Yeah, this one caught my eye. I saw this one came out on the Wii and up, but um, yeah, they made it for the PS2, so it's like a $15 game, so they're happy. Uh, Castaways, once again, no menu. Another blank one. I think this is. Um, no, yeah, we I shoved the artwork in the front. I destroyed it. So I'll shove that back in so no man. So yep, so pressure and plant original. Um so Shrek for the Xbox thing. Uh used to be most wanted. Um MX ATV another plane wrap. Um Oh yeah, yeah and they shove the artwork in the I don't know what the hell is on it, but who knows? Uh, bass fishing, once again shovelware I think. Um Rugby 08 and uh you know, video virus thing. Uh, episode three, Star Wars. Um, unique. um Xbox iRobot. Um Spider Man. Okay, and one I was happy to get, uh Spyro for the this one it's just the manual and the disc uh, not original cover um, I think the disc alone sells for 30 bucks so this game alone just pays for everything so yeah once again pretty happy but once again it's a PS1 game so my collection I think I already got like three copies but just keep piling them up alright um, yep so I got a fatty uh, got two memory cards and it came with uh, 
just a Logitech the rattles. Another um, one. Electronics aftermarket crap. Um, came with in there is another. There's an original. Oh, there's another Sony original. And then it's got all the cables and stuff. Got cables. Um, it also came with a. Uh, so it's a Sony camera in there. Only a seven megapixel thingy, but no memory card on there. Came with the charger and everything. And all right, now I've got a heap of games and go through. Let's go and try to get that. Oops. Let's crack that in there. Yeah, it's so hard. Like you, you just can't find any old stuff anymore. It's all just you know, PS2. And, well, I went into uh, one of the one of the pawnbrokers here and someone traded a heap of you know, Sega games or something. I don't know, like fifty dollars for a friggin' seven dollar Sega game. Bloody ridiculous. Anyway, so <laughs> that happened a fair while back and then um they dropped the prices all down to twenty nine bucks. And I said, Oh, you wanna get rid of them, I'll take them all for five each, but that's what they say. Um these are only two bucks. Obviously I got two of these. So, someone's only got one leg, but uh, yeah, these are Reebok pumps. Yeah, they used to pump it up, and I think it used to go tight ring and flip, but it still works, and I'm not sure. But uh, the soles aren't too bad. Needs a good clean, but uh, I just normally um, spray vanish on them and throw them in the washing machine in one of those um, like net bags or something you use the women use for their bras and stuff. Just kind of keep it all together. Give them a good soak. So, got them. So, two bucks. Obviously, um, yeah. no shoelaces, too, so I have to fork out for some shoelaces. But, every time you buy Nike Reebok, you know, inside there's a barcode or, or like a number, just get on your phone quickly and look up the number because all the fakes just use a number, not the number. When you bring up the number, it tells you the colors of the shoe. That way, then you know that it's an original. If not, there's so many fakes out there. Um, there's a pair of kookaburras. I guess it's a cricketing thing. Once again, I think they're fresh off, but uh, they're covered in grass. But really good nick. And these are only two bucks. So, yeah, pretty happy with them. Same again. I'll just get my hose off, put them through the washing machine, and uh, see how they go. But yeah, they look pretty good. Pretty good nick. So. Now, for some young kid, you know, I'm not sure what they retail for, but being Kookaburra, they wouldn't be bloody cheap. So, you know, maybe you know, I might get 20, 30 bucks from them. We'll see. Um, all right, some more clothing. Um, I bought this, it was really cool. Um, it's Billabong. It's like a winter jacket, and it's got like the you know, the patches on the elbows and stuff on the arms. Where do you go? There you go. That's in your arms. It's got the pad of it there, and it's got the, the wooden buttons, I guess, or hooks, what you call them. Plus a zipper. Um, yeah, it's a billabong. I think it's a, a girly version. Yep, size 14, so it's for the girls. I paid eight bucks for that. So, yeah, I paid up for it, but um, yeah, really nice thing. Especially, yeah. When I used to live in Victoria, we used to get our bells heaps, you know, when you get out of the water, <laughs> it's just so cold, especially in winter. It's so cold. And all you want to do is put on nice warm clothes, and it's just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, uh, okay. Um, once again, you know those microphones are going for stupid dollars. Put that for three bucks. Yeah, there's a one sold for something, why not? These here, these are all um, two bucks each. Um, the DVDs of Bing, so you got Blink 182. Once again, probably not that much money. Um, Green Day, Beavesy, and uh, John Mayer. He was pretty cool laid back. Uh, U2. Um, also got um, Michael Bublé with the DVD and CD. 
but it's in my car because it can play DVDs as well while you're driving. Not that I watch it, but you know, and set the lights, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Alright. That was a big one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so DS games, got carnival. Uh, dinosaurs. Uh, Wally. I guess three. Uh, and uh, soccer game. Don't ask me why, but that's what it is. I think they're only two bucks each or something. It's very cheap. Um, Batman Vengeance. Uh, game. I'm going to pay about three bucks for that one. So. And it's complete. These are pretty hard to find. Once again, I have no idea what they were. Um, Final Fantasy number eight. Ten bucks as is. So, but uh, crap, maybe I'll be missing a disc. So, one disc, two disc, three disc, four discs. All the discs there, just no manual. So, super stoked. Um, really, once again, collection, but. It's good for my collection, that's all I can say. Um, but I'm pretty sure I got like three copies of Final Fantasy 7 and that, but not, not, uh, not 8. Um, this um, looks a lot better unwrinkled. <laughs> There's Tommy Hellfinger, um, or Finger, how do you want to say it? Once again, I'll put it there. Um, yeah, I just. I don't know why I bought this. I look cool, I guess. Um, how much was it? It was seven bucks too. Um, oh, I think I get this for half price. Like fifty percent off. That's why I bought it. Otherwise, I wouldn't buy it. And these are all fifty percent off. So. Um, got Adidas. So, all for the Greeks, Mike. Huh? All for the Greeks. That's for Greece. Um, and we got, um, I bought this, a white basher, um, for, um, Summer Nats, Street Machines in Canberra. And it's got all the advertising on the back there. So I think it's Summer Nats, what year was this? Yeah, 2000, 2009. So, you know, unless you were there, um, there wouldn't be many of these left, and the condition's pretty good, so, um, yeah, it's hard to say, I mean, you just need the right person who was there, or wanted to be there, couldn't be there, just wanted a bit of trivia or something from it. Um, bought this, this is a, a Wrangler, um, yeah, let me see there, um, it's, it's a size so small, but, the reason I bought it was a pearl snap, so you know, good country western Wrangler look, you know, that American style. Plus, I guess you look at, um, yeah, if you do wine dancing, all those type of things, you know, it could suit that type of person as well. You know, you look the part. Uh, still, um, uh, some more clothing. Um, uh, Tommy Hilfinger pants, um, like a canvasy style, very good condition. Um, five bucks fifty. Um, not one of these things. I've bought one of these. I haven't listed it yet, but it's a Iron Williams kind of, you know, muscle shirt. Um, you know, for cowboys to wear. Once again, Iron Williams made in Australia. Can't go wrong. And then uh, also bought this. Uh, Tommy Alfing again, um, just a nice shirt, and I thought I'd go with the pants or something, I could wad it up. Yeah. It's a trouble I find, I go to off shops and I don't find anything that's really, really good. So I then turn around and go, I'll oh, look through the clothing. I really hate clothing. <laughs> I just don't know why I bought it, anyway. But, it still sells. Um, this was 20 cents just for a DS case. Um, yeah, I don't know. Two bucks, dirt. 
Not two bucks. Resident Evil 6. And everyone reckons this is the worst game in the world. Um, NBA 5, 10, 2 bucks. Uh, Tony Hawks. Yeah, 2 bucks. Um, uh, that's a good one. Uh, Dragon Ball Budokai 3. So, 2 bucks. I think it's quite expensive game. Very, very hard to find. Um, so that's like some Nico on the back there. I'll get rid of that. Easy enough. Oh, and one for the collection. Oh. <laughs> Once again, it's um, Rally Cross 2. Yeah, not a very good game, but still. They're out there, but they're just far and few between. Uh, Charlie Chocolate Factory, ACD, ACDC uh, for the Wii, Banjo, Banjo, Rock Band, Idiot. Uh, Black Hawk Down, Buffy, I think, yeah, this one's, yeah. It's yeah, X video, so it's they really put contact on the on the manual and stupid thing around the discs and they sell the X video rental, but yeah, Buffy Buffy sells. A lot of people like Buffy from way back when. Uh, <coughs> uh, we bought the Vita and uh, that PlayStation lot also got these ones too. Xbox 360 or two bucks. Um, they, had a, they had a lot of other Xbox 360 games, but I just left them because uh, hey, I wasn't sure um, yeah. and um, uh, whether whether Grandma or not. So yeah. Call of Duty 2 and then Superman Returns. I just sold this on PlayStation 2 for 20 bucks, but um, 360 is probably mass produced. Um, so getting there, still going. Okay, so need to be underground. That's uh, tricky. I think tricky three is the one that's worth money, but this is still the coin net. Another hit and run, cha ching. Um, Lord of the Rings. This, um, this is from the. Yeah, Return of the King. That used to be up there, but it's dropped right down there too. Um, Sims, what the fuck? There goes Star Wars. Good game. Call of Duty. Fire Tower. 007. Edge on fire. And there we go. Yeah, SX. This is SX number three. This one's worth some coin. Um, I think I saw it for 25 bucks. It's also at 25 bucks, yeah. Well, again, all my prices are, big, I think, it's the big. <laughs> There's so many games. Yeah. It's just uh, Clone Wars Season 1 Volume 2, uh, Clone Wars Season 1 Volume 1, um, um, Pokemon Hero the Movie, um, uh, what's this one? Star Wars, the Clone Wars, two disc version. I'm not sure if this is um, this is a movie. That's the movie. So that's cool. But uh, Pokemon Black and White as well. So with the Pokemon phase, the way it is. Um, bought these. I'm not sure if they're worth anything, but this not anime. B Blade or anything. B A Blade. Or, I'll probably totally butcher that. So I've got no, no idea. There's two of them. I'm seeing a single disc stuff each one, one, two. Um, oh, I bought these. These were two bucks. I think they're three bucks. Um, it's for a Pioneer receiver. Once again, um, when your remote gets chewed up by your dog, you lose some coin. 
kind of look them up so I don't know what you Sure, there's someone out there that has it, and then um, so I'm getting another Pioneer one too, number Sierra. So yeah, that's for you, like your, your Hi-Fi system at home. So, yeah. So um, coming to you now. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, this is this is the last one. Got this um really cool duck. <laughs> he's so cool. Alright, so he's all brass. Um, it was like 20 bucks I paid for him, so I paid up, and he's painted, and he's a bit, a bit red from the tarnish and stuff, so I'm just gonna, I don't know if that's paint, or someone's tried to polish it, and that's just the polish in there, but, uh, um, if it's paint, I'll give it a good clean up, and then, uh, try and get it to a goldish colour, but it's quite heavy, uh, it'd be about, probably two kilos of brass, um, I'm gonna, Sell it like a door stopper and brass ducks sell all right, so I'll probably ask 80 bucks for this one once it's all cleaned up. So, quack quack! All right, well, thanks for watching, guys, um, girls, and um, we'll see you on the next one. It's gonna be a while because I've got a ton of listing to do, so um, I'll probably stop buying, otherwise, I get swamped. <laughs> and uh, yeah, anyway, all right, well, thanks everyone for watching. Um, subscribe and comment and um, uh, occasionally I'll go and check my YouTube and reply. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.